I'm doing a patch here. And so this is the paper. I cut it diagonally. The same as here as well. So I can open it up like this, like this. So I can tuck the paper nice. So now I got some nails in here. We're gonna put tire wire right here because there's a big space. There's no two by four. So we're gonna close it up now. You'll see it's this wire. You see this? It's the previous wire, but I cut it. So let me put some new ones. Here we go. Let's do this. So now I got my wire in. I nailed it in. It just sound like a guitar. Let's get the paper in there. So, and I got the paper in nice and tucked. This is not getting inspected, but if it was getting inspected, inspectors like to see at least um, six inches, but in this case, it doesn't get inspected. So I left it two, three inches, but bigger on the sides. But um, you always want to overlap, especially wire too. So um, if you're doing patches, always have some wire that overlaps at least um three inches or two inches if you if it doesn't get inspected and um this the proper way is actually six inches for inspection but um like i said in this case it doesn't get inspected so we close it up now we'll get some wire and and wire it up and get some plaster up in there